Good morning, good morning, traders. Guys, how are you doing? Is everyone doing all right? I hope so, yes. <laughs> so, uh, let's fix a little bit this camera here. Ah, looks a bit better. Guys, how is trading going? Please let me know. So, uh, for another one more day, welcome at Market Minds Mastery Live Trading. Um, we are here every day to analyze the major markets to see what's the pace for the for the day and uh, identify some potential opportunities, of course, to take advantage during the day. Now, remember, remember we said about the pound Australian dollar. Yeah, it's this one here. Um, actually, I sent out a reel yesterday talking about this order block here. Guys, I know that many people, they are trading, for example, only the euro US dollar, only this, only that. But in trading, we cannot control in the market. We cannot control which currency pair it's going to move and when. So we need to trade a plan rather than a market. And I see many traders, they, um, they get frustrated. They are trying to trade the market. They don't understand they have to trade a trading plan. So uh, at the beginning of the week, we said that we are looking to trade short on the pound Australian dollar because of the weekly analysis. Then on the daily chart yesterday, we identified this bearish candle at this point here. Yeah. And on the hourly time frame, because the market changed its structure and it made up and it made this lower low, we came here and identified this bearish engulfing order block. The price tapped in during the news events yesterday. Uh, if you guys have entered from here with a stop loss anywhere above this region for example you could go easily for two three to one um two to one it's always fine so that was a that was an opportunity some traders might enter they didn't get filled here and then they got filled there so it it still moves lower let's see what's going to happen we expect it also when we are still looking for some short opportunities on the Australian dollar on the on the euro Australian dollar because weekly bearish engulfing from a resistance daily chart uh, daily chart didn't have any reversal price action so let's wait for a reversal price action on the daily chart and um, on this one here uh, we gonna wait for some kind of lower highs and lower lows good morning janice how are you doing today and of course to everyone else that they don't type anything on the chat but that's okay <laughs> so uh let's move on quickly australian dollar us dollar let's see on the daily chart the price still make this higher high it pulled back a little bit let's see if it's going to find some support at this point so I don't see any reversal price action on the daily chart. So I'm not in a rush to look for long positions here. New Zealand, US dollar, I'm still short on this one. It's a kind of swing trading at this point. Johnny said, I'm great, awesome, fantastic. Uh, it's a kind of swing trading, guys. I enter short with a limit order from this point here. I'm still in this trade. So uh, market yesterday made this lower low and now it retesting this area as a, um, as a potential bearish sellers area. Let's see what's going to happen. So I'm still looking for short on this one. Uh, Euro US dollar also I'm short on the Euro US dollar because yesterday the news created this nice bearish engulfing. Um, 
order block so we're gonna wait and see what's gonna happen price touched maybe it's gonna sell off so that will be a good one pound australian dollar uh, sorry pound us dollar pound it's very weak and needs very good because we it allows us to take trades right so what did we measure on the on the great british pound guys we were looking for this uh, swing trading here so a little bit more pullback will be favorable still looking for short positions based on the yesterday's price action then you start scrolling down to the lower time frames and you do your execution based on the uh, execution methods that you use some some of us use um, bearish and bullish and golfing candles order blocks this kind of stuff so everything that works best for each trader usd cut nothing really on the usd cut now we don't have any um, any solid structure here uh usd chf i'm still holding that long position from this bounce from this weekly low usd yen today is looking good for long positions to be honest on the hourly time frame i placed yesterday an alert here it's still valid uh, because I was looking for the price to dip a little bit more and then I was about to buy based on this double bottom price make then a higher high so I'm still looking for long positions here uh, bu bu next one euro euro Japanese yen the same bullish and golfing yesterday still looking for long positions and i think the price bounced off the 61.8 percent fibonacci retracement and that's correct right here so on the hourly time frame we had this kind of double bottom so today we are still looking for long positions based on the yesterday's price action uh gold guys uh, what's going on with the gold yeah it is craving some retracement to be honest so bearish solid bearish candle yesterday if this is going to be a shallow retracement then we might going to see the price moving upwards but uh, we trade what we see and not what we think so far if we drill down to the hourly time frame we see that the price is trading within this bearish and bearish marobozu candle and my gonna be a good for um it's gonna favor main, mainly uh, the sellers the us oil or the wti on the daily chart oh, the us oil on the daily chart it rejected uh, this 20 period moving average and uh, kind of weeks at the bottom around the previous week's low let's see what's going to happen with this one i need um i need to stop pressing one keyboard button <laughs> so for this one here guys i want to see some kind of structure before i'm in a rush to buy now i'm not in a rush to buy to be honest uh we don't have any kind of structure here on the hourly time frame neither on the four hour chart so let's let's find something that it's clearly um sticking out of the of the chart okay um let's check the german 40 or the dax yesterday another solid candle to the upside then on the four hour time frame now it's sticking just at the top let's see with the london open where this market it's gonna it's gonna hit it's very um uh, it's very strong to be honest we reached the 18,000. we surpassed the 18,000 on the dax us 500 uh, us 500 that's the hourly time frame and a nice let's let me show you from the daily chart it's a bit messy here so on the daily chart the price yesterday 
found support and moved upward on the four hour time frame. We mentioned that this bearish engulfing candle here, this one, the long one, you guys see it? Yeah. So this candle here can, if it's gonna make a new low, we said we want the low lower than this low, then we're gonna use it as a bearish engulfing order block, but the market didn't make a new low and it just found support at this bullish engulfing order block. So it bounced upward, okay? If we go down to the one hour time frame, it's much easier to identify it. Price came at this order block here and moved upward. Okay. Uh, Jean is asked, could you analysis the, analyze the Euro CHF pair? Yep, definitely. Uh, there is a short opportunity, I think. Let's have a look. Just bear with me to get rid of some lines from here. So let's go Euro CHF. Let's start from the daily chart. Daily chart. Uh, it's a bit messy here inside. Janis, uh, which time frame? This one here, guys, it looks like a a symmetrical triangle on the four hour time frame overly is a little bit up it's congesting a little bit Jan is here and for everyone else of course it's congesting a little bit within this upward and downward trend line uh, but yeah if this is going to end up in the next because this is an hourly candle in the next um 15 minutes, um, maybe we're going to see some more bearishness on the daily chart, Janice said. On the daily chart, why short opportunities? Uh, help me to understand the way you see it, Janice, please. From this point here, the market shows higher highs and higher lows. We have this swing here, then this low there. That's a support, we assume. So you expected the price maybe to move lower and reaches this um, 95,600, 95,600 maybe. Yep, that's if that's the plan that looks decent. But overall, the market the market structure is with higher highs and higher lows. Okay, um, weekly chart, nothing major here. All right, uh, guys, for those who for those who will be around, of course, uh, please register for the today's webinar, Smart Money Concept, and I will start explaining and reveal very, very, I will combine actually on this webinar, Smart Money Concept and Technical Analysis. Um, I don't know if you can find it elsewhere i will definitely encourage everyone to register for the webinar today okay and i will see you all on the webinar it's going to be a very very informative and you're going to learn the strategy on how to trade these bullish and bearish engulfing order blocks here okay also um for new viewers, um, we have our page, The Market Minds Mastery. It's public. You can visit, oh, you can visit um, if you're an individual trader or if you are a prop firm or maybe a broker. Okay, but let's say most of you guys here are individual traders. Uh, and you, if you need to learn and to move fast with your trading and you need some support. Um, if you haven't booked any coaching session with me, please feel free to book a just 15 minute introduction session. Or if you are okay, you can directly go and uh, take either six or 10 sessions. Or if you need something more custom, uh, custom made, please feel free to use the contact 
but on here and scroll down, contact us and just let me know how can I best help and assist you. Okay. And, and of course, please make sure you like and subscribe on the YouTube channel. Soon I will add you all on our Discord channel as well, uh, because it's, I, I would like you guys to be able to type and talk and, and put your setups there. If you want, you have questions, so it's going to be much more interactive. But for now, uh, I'm setting it up. So that's going to be the next uh, major um uh, project we're gonna we're gonna do so i would like to uh, say thank you to everyone for participating it was very nice to host another webinar for you guys for those they're gonna watch it on the uh, recording later um have a great great day and i will look forward to see you all at the webinar later on thank you guys and i will talk to you soon bye for now